Hi, everybody. This is our um, our instructions for our first gizmo of the year dealing with energy conversions. And you'll notice that's a gizmo version of the word transformation. They mean the same thing. If you convert something, you change it to from one thing to another. That's exactly what a transformation is. And uh, you're going to be doing the gizmo today, which looks like this. And I'll come back to that in a moment and answering all the questions here. The one thing that I wanted to kind of revisit, because this is an extension of what we did with Balls of Fury Lab, where we introduced this most important concept in the idea of energy, and that is the idea that energy converts or transforms all the time. Energy never disappears. It just changes into something else often that we can't detect. And we're going to be making a lot of energy pathways in this activity, uh, or excuse me, in a, in a lot of different activities that we'll be doing from here on out. And it's important we know what we're writing. You're going to see a lot of times where we have little spaces and the arrows in between. The arrows are really the point at which the energy transforms or converts from one thing to another. So I'm going to do our balls of fury for a moment. And I'm just to ignore all this. I'm really not doing anything officially in the gizmo right now. But if I was going to draw the energy pathway for balls of fury, I would say it started at gravitational energy. Its first conversion, once we let the ball at the top of the ramp go, is it started converting that gravitational energy into motion energy. And then at the very bottom of the ramp, when we stop the ball by running the two of them together with a piece of paper in between, we saw that that motion burned a hole in the paper and that turned this into thermal energy. So that would be how we would type out the energy pathway for balls of fury. We went from gravitational to motion to thermal, and all of those little things right there means basically where it changed at. Now, when you go into our gizmo, let me erase those out of there. When you go into our gizmo, right here, you have a couple of different choices. You can do the trans, the information mode, which you'll want. That will answer some of the questions. But the one I want to talk about for a minute is the path mode, because the path mode will let you do exactly that, and it will give you these little arrows. So uh, if I go on this one, the path of this one, we'll just go from the sun. You can see it puts there. And then the sun's energies got to change for some of this stuff to work. So the sun creates some thermal energy in the air, and that's what makes the wind move, or the air move. Then the air makes the turbine move, and the purpose of the turbine is to make electricity. And then the electricity we use down here in the house to run a toaster. So here we have got an energy pathway where we had energy coming from the sun, that energy transformed to wind energy in the air. That energy transformed into the wind turbine moving, making electricity here. And then that electricity was used to make heat again at the toaster. So this would be an example of an energy pathway. And as a matter of fact, this is the one they give you right down here in the example. Here is an energy pathway. You've got the sun. It's being tra transformed when it goes into the air, being transformed when it goes into the wind turbine, being transformed when it goes into the toaster. It's just a bigger version of what we did in Balls of Fury, but it's still nonetheless a transformation. It's energy turning from one kind into another. And if that seems kind of weird to you, it's because it's very weird. It took science a long time to figure out that things like the heat coming out of a toaster was really the same exact energy as the electricity going into the toaster. It was just being changed. So it's a, it's a very difficult concept. So stick with it and have fun with the gizmo and we'll go over it when you're done. All right. Thanks for